Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and thanks for watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today I'm sitting down to finally review the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Mineral Sunscreen. So I got this a few weeks ago and then I kind of put it on the back burner because honestly, didn't love it. So when something is like that, I just don't want or do reach for it that often. So yeah. But I also think it's really valuable to kind of get these reviews up, especially for a brand that is as big as Ole Henriksen and a Sephora brand, especially with the Sephora sale coming up, just to give you kind of the, the rundown of it and let you know if you maybe should put it in your cart or not. So we're gonna do what I always do today, which is put it on a quarter of a teaspoon for my face and neck, and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. I'm gonna wear it under um, a foundation that I'm testing, which I think will be very valuable. I have worn it alone and kind of have my thoughts on it that way. I'll also do kind of later day check-in where I show you kind of maybe what it looks like, that kind of thing. So we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna go through the specs, apply it to my face, and I hope you enjoy this video and give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Okay, so this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Mineral Face Sunscreen SPF 30. It retails for $35 and comes in your normal amount, which is 1.7 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters. I bought mine off of Sephora and I believe you can get it, well, I know you can get it from there and also on the Ole Henriksen website and I'm sure other places. So what is this? It's a 100% mineral sunscreen with enhanced vitamin C and 16.3% zinc oxide to protect skin from UVA and UVB rays, visibly cracked and prevent signs of sun damage. So they say it's for normal, dry, combination, and oily, which is all skin types. And like, why bother if it's for all skin types? Like that just doesn't seem realistic to me. I, I really cannot stand when products do that, especially when I can tell you for a fact, maybe not for a fact, but that it's probably not for all skin types. Okay, so like I said, this one has 16.3% zinc oxide. It also has beta octal salicylate. So if you've heard any of my kind of little um, PSAs, some people consider that a chemical active ingredient. So if that is you, then just consider this a hybrid. If that doesn't mean much to you, or if you just don't care, you can consider it a mineral sunscreen. It also has niacinamide, which a lot of products have these days. And I know a lot of people are just kind of like tired of, their skin is tired of, so. If that's you, this is pretty high in the list as well. And then it also has quite a bit of extracts and kind of citrusy smells to it. So very typical of any of their Banana Bright products. So if that's something that irritates your skin, I can understand it. It's pretty strong, I would say. I don't mind it. I think it smells nice, but it is quite strong. Okay, so looking at my face, what are kind of my initial thoughts and have they changed from the first few times that I've worn it or not? Sadly, no. One of the things that I noticed right off the bat that's very kind of unlike any other sunscreen, almost any that I've ever tried or have, is it's so sticky. So like when you're putting it on your face, I recommend putting it on one area, making sure you blend it in. If you're going to do more than one layer, do that area as well and then move on. Don't go back to it because that's when I start to get kind of like the pilling. I start to get the tugging and pulling, which I don't like. And sometimes even like a little cakiness of it. But I would not say that this one has a nice application. It just feels very kind of frictiony, I think is the only word I can use. It's quite, quite tacky. So like I think of this as a primer and I'm going to be testing it today under some makeup. So we'll see if that works. But I don't love the texture and I feel like it's just like nails, not nails on the chalkboard, but just too much friction and you're not going to get a smooth application because of that. It also is pretty highly fragranced, like I said before. So if kind of the citrus smell is irritating to you, I would not suggest this. It does linger. I think a lot of these Banana Bright products kind of linger as well. So if you've ever smelled one of their other ones from this line, it's pretty much the exact same. Now, what about like cast and eye stain or anything? First of all, if it is mainly mineral, like it is, I mean, butyl octosalicylate, if that irritates your eyes, then this one might. This one doesn't give me any eye sting though. And I don't necessarily have like your typical white cast, but I do feel like there's this really odd kind of tint to it and not in a good way. Like we can see the difference between my face and my body. Granted, my body has more sun than my face ever does, but I was not expecting, especially with the color of this being, you know, like, 
I showed you in the tint or in the swatch. It's kind of like this orangish tint, kind of reminds me of the Live Tinted one, but it feels like it pulls kind of cool on my skin and makes it a little bit too, I don't want to say ashy, but it's not quite not ashy. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm standing. I do have a nice little glow. I don't think it's a terrible glow. I don't think it's overly dewy or anything like that. I do, like I said before, find it to be very, very, very tacky. Just really reminds me of a primer more than anything. And I don't love to wear it alone just because I feel like my face just feels like it's like a, a magnet. Like I could, a fly could attach to it and then it would stay there forever. So that's kind of what I think. I think the main downside that I have noticed from wearing it so far is that it just doesn't apply very nicely. And with as many sunscreen as there are on the market these days, like how did they not fix that? I don't like, just because it's a mineral sunscreen does not mean that it should not like, this is not a reason for it applying poorly because actually like the texture of it is really nice. It looks like it's going to be more matte, very like kind of almost silicone-y feeling. But then when you put it on, you're just like, uh, uh, uh. so that's kind of where I'm thinking for right now. So I'm going to finish my makeup off and then I will check in throughout the day and let you know kind of how it's sitting. I will show you kind of what it looks like up close and you know, the whole spiel. So I'll see you later guys. Okay. I wanted to do a close up because, well, like, can you see this? This is where, because I don't have contacts, I'm still waiting on my LASIK surgery. I couldn't necessarily see that it wasn't rubbed in 100% and even on my eye. And then when you do try to rub it, you're just peeling it off. Like, it's not a good look. And other sunscreens that don't blend in, when something like this happens that I miss it and then I go to blend it in, it doesn't peel off. So that's what I'm talking about. I cannot stand that. And it just, I feel like now the coverage there is gonna be gone, like the protection. And if I hadn't have caught it before I did makeup, it would have just been a wreck, which it might be a wreck under this makeup that I'm gonna wear anyway, but look at that. So here, sorry, I had some little laser stuff done there. Oh, there's more. So word to the wise, blend it in as much as you can on the first go. Otherwise you're gonna come up against stuff like this. All right, we're sitting down to do the final review or final thoughts on the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Minerals sunscreen. Is this the like hottest, newest, best sunscreen of the year? No. Is it a particular sunscreen that I think there are, or there is a subsect of people that will buy this and then really enjoy it? Absolutely. I think they're smart in launching it, not launching it at Sephora. I mean, their brand has already carried at Sephora, but I feel like the Sephora customer will love this. The Sephora customer wants to wear like sunscreen and wants skincare, but maybe isn't always, and I say this in a loving way, I'm not talking about all customers, of course, but I feel like they're more makeup oriented. Like that, that's fair, right? So if you are a makeup oriented person that wants sunscreen, this is a really good sunscreen. I don't think I'll ever use this without putting makeup on because I find it to be just too, too tacky. This I think of as a primer and it's a wonderful primer once you think of it like that. I wore it today over or under the Say foundation, which that review will, it'll be up. <laughs> but I don't like that foundation. And it was probably like the only sunscreen that kind of got it to work a little bit. And I think it was because of the tacky nature of this sunscreen. So I really like it for that. And I will continue to kind of keep it in my arsenal. I think I'll keep it in my makeup room so that I can use it under makeup more than just like, I'm gonna go cut the grass. I need to put a sunscreen on. This is not gonna be the one for me. So I think that's kind of like my feeling on it. I think that's where it will excel. And if that's something that you're looking for, this is a great option. Of course, what I said still holds true that it has a scent. It could be hybrid if you consider beta-lactyl salicylate, hybrid or a chemical filter. And then of course the price. I mean, it's not the most expensive, but it is more like Sephora N, so $36. But really that's actually not that bad considering there are so many that I test from Sephora that are way, way, way more. So. Would I recommend it to my close friends? If they're asking for something like that, I would. But if they're just looking for like the best sunscreen, probably not. So 
I'm gonna wrap that up, wrap this up. <laughs> it's getting hot here, like I am sweating. It's I think 82 degrees today and I wanna take this say foundation off. So I'm gonna go wash my face and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.